this is the very special evening with Virginia. There's a line in that song, and every time I hear that song, oh, it's just so beautiful. I was welling up listening to it, but there's a line in that song, and what a great version. Uh, the world still astounds you each time you look at a star. That's the essence of it, isn't it? The childlike wonder at the beauty of the world, never to be complacent about it, never, ever to take it for granted. I've been fortunate enough to see animals, wild animals, in their own environment, behaving as they should in the environment they should live in. And then the contrast between that and a concrete cage um, is truly horrendous. I want the feeling we have for wildlife in the wild, for wild animals incarcerated in captivity, to be as constant and as strong, and stronger maybe, than it is now. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear mama. Happy birthday to you. The role she's most fondly remembered for is as Joy Adamson in the international blockbuster Born Free. But Virginia's other credits include over 500 performances of The King and I with Yul Brynner and some of the most cherished films of the 1950s, 60s and 70s. The Smallest Show on Earth, A Town Like Alice, Carve Her Name with Pride, Ring of Bright Water, An Elephant Called Slowly. She has often appeared on screen with her real-life husband, Bill Travers, most famously in Born Free. <laughs> if you could go anywhere in the world right now, if you could wave a magic wand and go anywhere in the world, where would you go and why? I would go to Kenya. I would go to Meru. I would go to Elsa's, the Lioness's grave and have a bush breakfast there. I would go to the school we support just outside the north of Meru National Park and see the children do a bit of dancing with them. And these wonder, wonderful children, I have to say, I know we're talking a lot about me, but actually I have to say you never do it alone, you see. That's a misunderstanding. We all do it together. And the children, who are the future, obviously they are the most critical element of our world now. It is the children. And not only in Africa, but wonderful children here and in other countries. So. Kenya, though, would be my, my goal this year, as long as touch wood, I'm still here. Hello, Virginia. This is Brian Adams, and I want to wish you a very, very happy 90th birthday. Congratulations, and thank you for all that you do. All my love. Darling Ginny, you've always been so generous and gentle with people and with animals, so respectful, and yet so resolute in your battle to keep wildlife in the wild. You've always led from the front, and even though you're smaller than me, both in height and width, I'm so proud to walk in your shadow. You are completely wonderful. You're absolutely fabulous, and I adore you. Happy birthday, Ginny. How amazing that you have reached the fantastic age of 90 and you're still as sprightly as ever, still inspiring us all, still taking care of the wonderful animals around us. You inspire so many people and you shine your beautiful light of compassion, which leads the way for so many millions, uncountable millions of people. So thank you so much and happy birthday. Thank you, Dan. I, I'm speechless. Just wanted to wish you a very, 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 very happy 90th birthday. Happy birthday, Virginia. And happy, happy birthday. Oh, I want to wish you a very happy birthday and trumpets of joy to you. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Virginia. Have a lovely day, sweetheart. Happy birthday. Lots of love. You are the born free matriarch, our moral compass, and most of all, 
You're a great friend. Love you very much. Quite hard to say anything, really. It was so moving. When I see the children, that's the main thing. That's the future. Those wonderful children in whatever country they're in, but especially when they're in countries which perhaps haven't got a peaceful situation throughout the land, that they still think of the animals, they still want to understand them, want to learn their vitality and enthusiasm. Oh, it's infectious. I never will get these two last wishes, I don't think. No, three, actually, sorry. But I could do it in one journey. I could... I could go to Shamwari and then to Ethiopia and end up in Kenya, couldn't I, Will? I'm sure he'll say, of course, but he probably won't mean it and I don't expect him to. We've never, never forgotten the reason we began, which is as strong now as it was then, and wider spread, not just about elephants, about all species that are not living as nature intended. And I think we'll fight that till our dying day.